Hi guys, today I want to show you a look that I'm calling a daytime grunge girl smoke. Um, and it's really easy to do. So first of all, as always, prime, prime, prime those eyelids because whenever you're using darker shadows um, or anything with um, a lot of pigment, you want to make sure that you've got an eye primer on. I'm using a um, cream shadow in a very nude color called Victorious that is um, going to make my entire lid a uniform color because I have lots of discoloration in my lids and I just applied that all over and smoothed it out with my finger. Next I'm taking a blonde brow palette from Unique. It, um, I take the lightest color and fill in the inner halves of my brows with an angled brush and then I take the next dark powder color and do the outer half of my brows and then I'll be brushing it together with a dry spoolie to um, really blend the colors together and make it so that they appear much more natural. Then the pink cream I'm using with a flat brush to cut the brow um, and make it really uh, perfected. And so you can do that on the tops of the brows and underneath. And then just using your finger, you can take the shimmer cream that's in there to use on the brow bone to really open up the eye. So next I'm using palette two, which has a lot of great gray neutral smokes. And using a fluffy brush, I'm using the color Honorable. It's kind of like um, a perfect mushroomy taupe color. I really like it. And I'm using that in a windshield wiper motion in my crease, but then also taking it and kind of extending the outer half of my crease towards what would be like an outer V. Then I'm going to take an angled brush in the color Khaki. It's a very deep matte brown, and I'm going to basically brush it along uh, with a nice soft line across my entire lash, upper lash line. Then I'm gonna take that honorable color and using the another fluffy brush, I'm just gonna kind of smudge that out. Um, and it's really gonna kind of soften that line. Next, I'm gonna take that same color cocky and do my lower lash line with the angled brush and pull out like an outer V shape in the corners. And then using that same taupe honorable color, I'm just gonna kind of buff it out because again, we want this to almost be that like I slept in my makeup kind of look because it's sort of grunge girl extravaganza. Next, I'm coming into the color perplexed to just kind of give a little more drama to the outer corners of my eye. It's like um, a satin finish, uh, gray silver color, very pewter in nature. It's it's a darker silver. Um, and then, oops, sorry, I had a little camera mishap there. And then I'm going to be taking a really little brush and going into the color Romantic, which is a very light, glimmery silver color and using that to highlight the inner corners and just under the brow bone um, by my eyebrow. And then basically I'm gonna take the color Peppy, which is uh, kind of a really dark matte gray and just pop a little bit on the outer corners and then a clean blending brush to blend it all together and make sure you've softened the look. I'm gonna tight line my upper lash line with a uh, black pencil in the color Perfect and then my lower lash line, corner to corner, I'm gonna tight line as well. This is also gonna kinda of add to that grunge girl look appearance. I always kind of pull out a little bit of a wing to give me the illusion of that extra lash, lash on the edges. And then basically I will come into that peppy color again, again that super dark charcoal, uh, almost black gray in the end, and it's, I'm gonna set up that waterline that I did because this will help it last all day and give it a much more dramatic appearance. And I'm also gonna kind of um, smoke out that wing with it. Then just doing a little bit of cleanup for any kind of eyeshadow fallout. And then I'm gonna to, um, top that look off with some mascara. This is the Epic One Step Mascara. I'm gonna use a coat of this on both my upper and lower lashes to really separate and define my lashes. And I could just stop with this mascara, but I like to have that extra drama of um, really having a lot of lash visibility and so I will f top it off with the 3D fiber lashes on the tips because it helps give me more volume definition and length in my lashes and it really makes them pop with my eye look especially since my lid is a very uh, neutral lid that is light in color. I definitely have a mascara mishap on the corner of my eye. You guys know that I've done this before. Um, never panic when you have a mascara mishap. Always dry, dry, dry. Let the mascara dry and then deal with it. If you try to Q-tip it off right away while it's wet, it will just smear all over your face. So I just kind of leave it there until I'm totally done. You guys know I like to curl my lashes with my blow dryer set on warm. And then basically just taking a pointed Q-tip, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and fix that little smudge there. And you know, it 
happens to everybody, even me. And then that's basically going to finish off this eye look. Super easy, very uh, grunge girl, daytime smoky, smudgy, I slept in my makeup kind of look. And then last but not least, I'm going to finish off with a matte lip. Um, and this is a very pretty dark berry color in sensual is the color. And it's a great matte liquid lipstick formula. And that finishes off the look. Thanks for watching.